Yell I-5 How Einstein Figured Out That Time Slows Down The Faster You Travel From a guy named James Clerk Maxwell, Einstein knew that the speed of light was a constant i.e. a property that never varies. Then from a couple dudes named Michelson and Morley, evidence was provided that the speed of light does not change based on your direction. This, plus some imagination, was all that Einstein needed. If the speed of light does not vary based on direction, and if it is truly a constant, then it should also not vary based on your speed. So, if a stationary person was to observe a ray of light shooting across the sky, they'd see it going well at the speed of light. But if a person in a rocket ship flew by right behind that ray of light, going at 99% the speed of light, from their vantage point the light would also be going at the speed of light. So now from our stationary perspective, he sees the light ray slowly pulling away from the rocket ship. But from the rocket ship perspective, that ray of light is long gone basically the moment it sees it, i.e. He doesn't see it moving slowly away from him, as the stationary person does. The only way for both of these facts to remain true is if the person in the rocket ship experienced time at a much slower rate than the stationary person on the ground. Phew. Attempting to explain special relativity to a five-year-old is tough, and I kinda got hand-wavy at the very end there. Edit. Several commenters mentioning the impact of Lorentz on Einstein's work on special relativity. I can't yell I-5 this because frankly, I don't understand slash remember it. But for those who are curious, look into Lorentz transformations as well. Wait, so you're saying light always moves at the same speed, from your perspective, regardless of how fast you're traveling? Yep. This is the central idea behind special relativity, that in all frames of reference light travels at exactly c. Yes, this means that even if you were traveling at 99.99% the speed of light relative to some observer, both you and the observer would still see light traveling away from you at sea. Sometimes that confuses people because they think of themselves as stationary, when in reality we are hurling through space, and depending on our frame of reference it's quite different. Am I stationary, sitting on the toilet on Reddit moving 0 miles per hour? Am I spinning at 1000 miles per hour on Earth? Am I going around the sun at 67,000 miles per hour? Am I going around the galaxy at 447,000 miles per hour? All the answers are yes. And light is behaving the same no matter my reference.